works. Recently, construction on the I-84 corridor in Nampa has started to raise concerns. We've been seeing a whole lot of growth in Canyon County, and the work that we are doing here is to mitigate for that growth as well as set us up for the growth that we're expecting over the next 20 years. In other words, the expansion of I-84 throughout Canyon County is necessary, but for a lot of commuters, it's far from convenient. For one commuter, he believes bad drivers and ITD's temporary traffic patterns on the I-84 eastbound corridor near Northside and Franklin are to blame for a five-car accident he was recently involved in. The accident totaled his 2006 Honda Ridgeline. If the Jersey barriers wouldn't have been there, I might have been able to ditch the car into the, you know, into the median and avoided an accident, but there's no place to go. However, ITD says those Jersey barriers are there for the safety of drivers. We've seen crashes before we even started getting into construction. Anyone who's going to be traveling on the interstate here in the Treasure Valley is going to see those Jersey barriers in the median. With drivers and workers in mind, ITD created a traffic plan with a purpose. So what we've done is we've put some temporary shoulders and moved traffic to the outside so that work can be done in the middle. That preserves two lanes in each direction, which is what the capacity was before we got to work. Idaho State Police have noticed an increase in traffic collisions near Northside, but they've also noticed drivers disregarding designated speed limits and abandoning safe driving practices. In this area from the mile post 38, which is the Garrity exit, to the Karcher exit, mile post 33, it's going to be going down to 55 miles an hour. Construction on Northside and in surrounding areas is expected to wrap in 2020. I think it'll make traffic flow a lot better because there is a lot more traffic. I think it's just the way it's being done. For frustrated commuters like Richard, the Idaho Transportation Department encourages the public to take advantage of their resources like their ITD podcast or website. We recognize this is the biggest project in the entire state and we are really upping up our efforts to communicate with the public to keep everyone informed so that they know what's going on and can make informed decisions. Now, due to the high volume of traffic in the area and heavy construction, again, through the north side, Karcher and Franklin areas, I'll be out here live all morning long to keep an eye on your morning commute so we can see how this traffic shapes up hour by hour, even half hour by half hour. So again, stay with us so I can give you the very latest in that traffic news. Reporting live in Nampa, Frankie Catafias, 6 on your side.